way home from the huge rally. We've been in Kent rallying all day and now we're on our way home. Uh, so you'll have to excuse me because I am actually driving. Yeah, so uh, I'm doing all the talking today. I'll lucky. probably do some talking. Yeah, lucky you guys. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to inform you about our experience of the huge rally this, this year. <laughs> we decided that we were going to use our uh, Stanza. Yeah, which is nicknamed Ollie. Yeah. Because we've got Stanley, so Stan, and Ollie. Yeah, which I thought was quite cool. Uh, so we used Ollie on uh, the rally, and it all started off quite well through scrut scrutineering. We were first in. We were like, yes. Yeah, we were all done. done. Scrutineered and signed on by like five minutes past five. It was absolutely brilliant. It was so, so good. And we thought, oh, we're winning at life. So we went and started doing our plotting. <laughs> well, uh, the plotting went <laughs> fun. <laughs> it was so hard. So it turned out that we it said to use the latest edition of the map and OS maps update and revise, but they hadn't been revised since 2013 and that's the version everybody had. I ordered my maps and I was the unlucky person to get the new edition that was revised April 2019. So obviously the organizers haven't been able to check those maps because they've only just come out but I didn't even notice until I started plotting and couldn't find a campsite. Yeah, we, we must have spent about, I don't know, 45 minutes trying to find this campsite. It took us a bottle of wine. Yeah, that was anywhere near the route we needed to be taking. It was ridiculous wow. and uh, I'm definitely going great because of it. I was so stressed about it and I thought there's gonna be, because we didn't have all the plotting, we only had half the regs and I was worried that we were gonna have plotting today that would uh, we'd struggle with because we didn't have the correct yeah. But that was okay. We uh, we managed to plot everywhere and get everywhere. So that's that's good. That's the good thing. Sort of. Um, well, it's our first time competing this year together. And also my first time driving this car competitively. So the first two regularities of the day today, the first one was fine because it was on the road and it was, you know, normal driving. But uh, the second regularity was in a woods, a private regularity. In Merriworth. Merriworth. I keep calling it Meredith. Merriworth um, Woods. Yes, an M-O-D uh, Woods. Yeah, and it was, the first bit was really slow, but then it got really fast. And obviously I haven't driven it competitively before this, so I was a bit tentative in places and um, probably a bit slower than I should have been. So we dropped, I think the second control, we dropped a lot of time, but then it started to improve as I got more into the car. And But it was a little bit rough. Um, oh, yeah. Richard Dix is asking, were there any tricks? Yes. Oh a my lot. gosh, so many tricks. So my brain has been on overdrive since last night, trying to figure out where this flipping campsite was. Um, but trying to, the speed changes were ridiculous. They did it, they were all really different and they were using different words like uh, after, after and then and after, after, a further. after further. So your brain really had to focus on the English and whether it was actually correct. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is they used, um, take six minutes to do one mile or take uh we just reworded it differently yeah. just to try and catch you out which it did yeah and like 20 kilometer, uh, kilometers whoa 20 <laughs> miles an hour till the end of reg after you have done uh 1.3 miles at 28 yeah so it, it was really played to your mind and on the road we had so many triangles and i love this rally because they put code boards on every little trick so if someone misses a trick you miss the code board um, and it really make, it makes the difference because you could just have controls there but you can't have controls close to two miles so instead of worrying about things like that they put these code boards to make sure you go the right way which I think is clever but is clever. you do spend the whole time thinking you miss one. Oh, and, and also they had like one regularity there were two controls and there were 18 minutes between each control so you spend after about nine minutes you're going have we gone the wrong way is this the right way are we on route why have we had a control so i swear i spent the whole of this rally or at least half of it thinking this can't be right we've gone wrong yeah uh, it was really really tough and the one thing i i liked i mean it stressed me out again very stressful this rally uh but i liked it it was a do-it-yourself control oh yeah we've never seen this before never had it before so basically you come into, you go around a corner and instead of there being marshals at the control, there's just a board. 
and you have to work out what time you're supposed to be there and write in the time on your card and then the marshal at the next point makes sure you make sure you've done it and signs it and off you go yes yeah, so it's a little bit like a self-start but mid regularity but you don't really know what time you're due there because uh, well, speed especially you've had like five speed changes beforehand and your trip is as, as accurate as you can make it but it's not necessarily bang on and ah no it was uh, intense and we were only three seconds out which I was quite proud of yeah and I was kind of looking forward to another one but there was only one yeah which was a shame um, but I've definitely uh, put my mind to the limit on this rally yeah but she made some really funny mistakes oh, like we my. got to the end of a test and she handed over the test diagrams to the marshal instead of her time card. And the marshal said, what, what's this? But I was oblivious. I didn't even know I did it. <laughs> and then he went, what's this? And I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, you can't get a time without this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and the other thing I did, which I used to do a lot when we first started, um, I was following the route on the map during a regularity. And I said, oh, um, we're turning right. So we turned right off we went. And we got about half a mile down and I went, Seth stop we've gone the wrong way and she went no no you've told me to turn right and I said yeah I know I did but the route went left <laughs> she just started randomly following a road it was brilliant and I don't even know why and I used to do it a lot I remember on the jog I used to I just get my mind set on this road that's the way I want to go and I just follow it and we were laughing because we were really lucky and although we were about three or four minutes late then um, there wasn't a control for ages so we managed to catch it up without driving too ridiculously uh, yeah, so, so that we were great. that. And then the last break, they really chucked in uh, everything because the controls had all been quite far away. And then on the last reg, they were all about two miles apart. So that caught a few people out because you just couldn't catch up. Yeah. Um, the tests have been fun though. Yeah, and actually, it, because I'm used to driving Stanley, and uh, I sort of, I don't know whether I use it as an excuse a little bit because Stanley is slow. Um, so this. On this one, I haven't really had the excuse of being slow because this car is a lot quicker. Um, so it's been interesting. And uh, But the best bit was, for me, uh, on the last couple of tests, <laughs> the steering wheel came loose. Oh my gosh, yeah, it just came loose yeah. by itself. And uh, we didn't have time to stop and tighten it properly. So it was just, between every test, just finger tightening it, which is really bad. But she just went, please, is it supposed to do this? And I was like, I don't do think so. But my highlight of the day, last test of the entire thing, I beat Bogey. So Bogey is the time, uh, the, the minimum time you can do the test in. And we yeah, managed to beat it. Because it's timed at 30 miles an hour, so you cannot do it any quicker than that. Technically. If you, if you manage to beat it because you're just driving quite quickly or, or for whatever reason, um, you can only get that time. So yeah. it's quite an achievement, especially for me. I think that's probably the first time I've beaten Bogey. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool, but it's definitely been a very challenging event. Um, when we finished, we didn't know whether we were happy or yeah, I didn't know whether I was I like I'd really enjoyed myself or whether I was just relieved it was over. It was a really strange emotion to have, actually. But it has been fun, and yeah. I, we've enjoyed well. The weather's been the fantastic, weather's been amazing. My so hot. Or the sun on my arm a little bit, um, but the, it's just been a really big challenge. Um, but I think it's been challenging for everyone, everyone's been in the same situation. Uh, and saying that, we have results. Results are in. Yes, and we're very excited. Well, this was the first time we'd been seeded in the top ten. Yeah, we were seventh. Yeah, they I mean, seeded us seventh. Who seeded that? <laughs> I don't know whose idea that was. Anyway, uh, and, and it, it's quite hard because you always try and beat your own seeding. That's always the challenge. So we, when we were seeded seventh, we were like, oh gosh, this is going to be hard. I think last year we came eighth. Something like that, yeah. So it was a bit of a challenge, but we did it. Woo. We finished sixth overall and first in our master class. Yep, yeah, so we're very, very chuffed because, I mean, we've had first in class before, but this is first in class for a master's class, so. Which is awesome. We're Quite so happy. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to go celebrate. That's definitely what we're doing now. We're on our way home. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And Thanks for watching. And thank you to you all. Oh, wait, hang on, let me start that again. A huge thank you to all the marshals. Yes, absolutely. And, and the organisers of the rally as well. Because they, they had a lot of new things on this rally. And, they and did. I think I liked most of them. I, I did. I loved the do-it-yourself. Yeah, I, I really thought that was really that. good. Yeah, that and should catch on, hopefully. It's definitely um, a good event to go and do. I do, every time I do the Hughes, I hate it while I'm there. But afterwards, I always come away smiling. Yeah. So it's definitely worth doing. 
It is hard though, and I, I felt for the novices on this one. Yeah, you've got to be ready for the challenge. And I really wanted to help more of them, but there just wasn't time. Like, you only had enough time to plot your stuff and go, and that was it. Yeah, but we, we have enjoyed it, but I think my brain needs a, a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, so uh, we'll see you on the next one, but for now. From us. Bye! bye.